Coming through hot stuff, one side, please. <laughs> I wouldn't take odds on this place lasting the night. <laughs> Hello, Pat. I want my personal copter ready for takeoff in 20 minutes. Yes, sir, Mr. Kaiser. Going somewhere. First you trash my penthouse, then my casino. You're gonna wreck something else? If I didn't know any better, i say you probably wanted this place destroyed. After spending 300 million to build it? That's not good business, my friend. I've seen the unpaid bills. Building this casino has bankrupted you. That's why you turned it into a target for the Joker. Once he destroys it, you'll collect the insurance money. You hit the jackpot, Batman. But I've got too much at stake to be stopped now. <laughs> ah, you again. What do we do with them, boss? Send them down to their friends. Kind of slow on the reflexes, eh, Batsy? That car crash must have taken more out of you than I thought. <laughs> wakey, wakey. you'd like to be conscious for your own demise. I really put some effort into this one. Once I spin the wheel, you, the casino, and that strutting fool Kaiser will all be blown sky high. Not bad, eh? <gasps> should I care about other people? They never cared about me. No matter how smart I was, they laughed at me and called me a mad scientist. So, I took matters into my own hands. I promised myself I'd never let anyone make me feel small and insignificant ever again. You know what, old pup? When I was alive in your age, I used to be a wizard's apprentice because I was so fascinated by magic. But the other people in the village didn't care for me. They said I was a freak, a fool, an insignificant idiot. And no matter how powerful I came, or how well I did, the boys picked up me, treated me like a useless nobody, and called me a pipsqueak. And worst of all, they picked on me, vandalized my stuff, ripped my clothes, and bullied me a lot. And when my selfish, cruel brother took everything away when he turned his back on me, I ran off and said I swore I would get even one day. And when I became Mount Vago, I made those who were my life feel the same pain I did. Then I decided to recruit others like me around the globe, and revenge was right in my grasp. But all of that was taken away from me when that no good would have struck me down. And ever since that day, I swore revenge on all who ruined my life and make sure I would never feel like a small, itty bitty, pipsqueak, useless nobody ever again! I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh, what would you know about anything? You're just a dog. I know what it's like to feel small and insignificant. 
Like you have to work twice as hard as everyone else just to prove you belong? That's why I risked everything to get my crystal back. But all I did was make things worse. Ooh, that was good. I know what you're trying to do. We have a little bonding moment. I get all soft and blubbery. Then I have a change of heart and let you go. Well, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> you won't get Kaiser. He's been playing you for a patsy. Huh? Get down. Huh? Hey. He's counting on you to blow this place up so he can collect the insurance. By the time you get clear, Kaiser will be miles away laughing at you. I hate it when you make sense. Yeah. And one of the worst parts of my revenge is all those who laughed in my face! I'll settle my score with Kaiser man to clown, but that still doesn't let you off the hook. How about that, Bats? Looks like your number's up! <laughs> Move, Batsy.